Welcome back. And we are back for our weekly grocery haul. Um, we have been dealing with sickness. We have been dealing with snow days. We have been dealing with dental work. So all of that combined uh, made it so that I didn't get around to videotaping the grocery hauls for the past couple weeks. And I'm sorry about that, but we are back at it. We have been um, keeping within our $100 weekly budget and sticking somewhat to our meal plans. So here we go. looking like so today is the fourth Monday so tonight we are going to have tacos tomorrow some type of chicken Wednesday lasagna Thursday pork chops Friday spaghetti Saturday John will be making pizza and then Sunday we will um, eat leftovers if there's any leftovers um, if not, then we'll eat out. So here's what I got for the grocery stores today. So first off was Walmart and it's consignment sale season. So I've got seven years worth of Michael's clothes that I'm in the process of selling for the spring and summer. So um, every time I've been going to Walmart, I buy um, two 10 packs of kids hangers they're only a dollar each can't beat that 10 hangers for a dollar and um i was running out of the two inch safety pens so i ended up buying the two packs that they had at the walmart i went to um i need these <clears throat> for the consignment sale uh, to when you have a two-piece outfit um, these are better than the smaller ones that you use to uh, pin the tags on to the outfit so these are better when you're um, pinning the pants to the two-piece or if you've got like uh, five pieces five onesies that you're selling together you need to safety pin them all together onto the um, hanger. So I got those. I got a can of pizza sauce, some spaghetti sauce, Fiesta blend cheese, a large family size lasagna because when my brother comes over to eat, the regular family size lasagna is not enough. So I spend a little bit more to get the large. Uh, we needed some more dishwasher detergent for the dishes. Um, we needed some mouthwash. And I knew that this week's uh, grocery haul was probably going to be pushing it with the budget so I decided to get the Walmart brand instead of Listerine hopefully it's just as good uh, a two liter of Mountain Dew and a two liter of Dr. Pepper because I don't know I just I've been needing a lot of caffeine lately so that is I spent a um well, actually, it, so all of that totaled up to be $32.45. Now, I do use the Walmart Pay in the Walmart app. Um, the way that I've gotten around, um, you, the way that I've been able to use it and not use a debit or credit card um, is by just having the e-card that they originally started putting my when I did um, the savings catcher um, they had put all the money that I was saving with savings catcher in a um, 
an e-gift card. So I attached that e-gift card to my Walmart pay. And um, so basically I had from a purchase or two before, um, I had received through the um, uh, savings catcher part of the Walmart app, um, I had earned $2.69. So since I used the Walmart pay, it put that $2.69 towards my um, payment. So then it brought down my payment to be only $29.76. And then, um, so because I used the Walmart pay, then I'm able to submit it to the Walmart savings catcher. So even though I paid full price for those two liters, I am certain somewhere nearby is probably having them on sale for like a dollar or 98 cents or 99 cents. So if they find that those are cheaper elsewhere, since I submitted my receipt, then they will put whatever the difference is onto that Walmart gift card and then I can use it the next time I go to Walmart. Um, so that's how I've been using um, being able to use, still use Savings Catcher since they've pushed us to the uh, Walmart Pay uh, app thing. So there you go. A tip for you so that if you're paying with cash, you can still be able to use it. The next store was Sam's. It's right next door to the Super Walmart that I go to. We were running low on Honey Nut Cheerios. Michael was getting um, somewhat low on his applesauce packets. He not only eats these for lunch, but when he comes home and he wants a snack, he eats those. Um, I am almost completely out of Dawn, so I bought Dawn. And that was it for Sam's. I ended up spending a total of $27.67 at Sam's. Now, um, I generally do do all of my grocery shopping with cash. Um, for some reason, the cash never made it to my purse. And um, I did not know that until I got to Walmart. So I ended up using our debit card and I'll be making a deposit uh, with the cash later today to cover for the purchases, but uh, there's money in the account, so I'm not worried about it. But because I did use my debit card, I have my debit card attached to an app called Dosh, where with Sam's Club, you get 2% um, cash back for any purchases that you use with any of your debit cards or credit cards that you have attached to your Dosh account. Um, Normally, I just use it for uh, the gas, which I did get gas today too, and I got another 2% um, cash back for that. So with um, what I purchased at Sam's, those three items, I am going to be getting 55 cents back in my Dosh account, and then I went and spent 20 some, like 25 something um, in gas um, after getting those items. And I'm getting an additional like 50 cents back um, for my gas purchase. So if you're interested in the Dosh um, app, it it looks like they have increased some of their um, places that are participating with them. Um, sometimes Sam's has it where there's a weekend where instead of 2%, you can get 5%. Sometimes I've even seen 10%. So um you know, if you're already going to these places and you're purchasing with a debit card, um, get cash back for purchases you're already making. So I will put um, in the description my referral link if you're interested in looking into that further. Okay. And now to Wegmans. At Wegmans, I bought a red onion for tacos tonight. Uh, we were running low on pepperoni slices. Um, I get my pizza dough from Wegmans. So two dough balls. And then John likes their pizza cheese better than Walmart's, even though they're a little bit more expensive than Walmart's, but it's only like 10 cents, I think. So I bought pizza cheese and 
orange juice and spaghetti, which the spaghetti is normally um, 99 cents a pack, but today it was 59 cents a pack. I have not seen it that cheap before. Normally they have it like 79 cents a pack, but it was 59 cents a pack. So deal. All right. And I spent a total of 18.55 at Walmart or at Wegmans. And that made the total for the three stores um 75.98. So I was under um our $100 budget by about 24 dollars and two cents um so uh that money will just be rolled over into next week's budget so it'll increase it to 124 dollars and two cents um and what i normally do when i go grocery shopping um i uh you know i write down my list of my items and then i also um when i'm in the store i write down what this is going to cost and then before I go to the checkout register I um, total it up to give me an approximate amount I know it's going to be a few dollars more because of taxes but it'll give me a, an idea of how much I'm spending so after Sam's I added up my the total that I had spent at Walmart and at Sam's and I knew that I was um, getting uh, rather low with our money. So I made sure that, um, I mean, I got everything that was on my Wegmans list, but I did cross off things off of the Walmart list that John had put on there because I knew that I was going to be buying, um, some expensive, some, uh, you know, some stuff. I, I figured at Sam's, normally I figure at Sam's I spend about, $10 an item, sometimes more. So I was estimating that I was going to be spending about $30 at Sam's, which I almost did. But um, because I knew I was going to Sam's, I did not purchase a few items that John had requested because they were not something that was absolutely needed. Um, they were just some items that he uh, wished that he had had. There you have it, this week's grocery haul and meal plan. Please let me know if you like these videos um, and if there's anything else that you would want to know about, um, if there's any tips, tricks, um, what kind of app, savings apps I use. I use the Walmart Savings Catcher in the Walmart app. Um, I... If I remember, I use Ibotta, and like I said, whenever I go to Sam's and get gas, I always use Dosh because I always use the card that is attached to my Dosh account. Um, and I just basically try to, um, sometimes I just get the store brand items because they're cheaper and they're just as good as name brand whereas other times i you know splurge and get the name brand just because the store brands aren't always the best in certain cases but that's just from trial and error uh so again just let me know if there's anything that you would like to see or hear or uh, learn from me um i I'm going to try to get more videos up um, just been kind of hard with getting dental work done and um, snow days for school and then the regular holidays off from school and then being sick so just life and mom life so uh, let me know. I um, deal with family fun and frugality. So just let me know in the comments or if there's no comments, because I know some YouTubers, their comments have been removed um, because of new things that YouTube is doing. Fun times. 
Um, if you can't leave me a comment, you can find me on Instagram or on Facebook. So let me know there. And I will see you later. Bye.